Welcome to the podcast, Claim Your Excellent Life, with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink, where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne will teach you how to do this through building high self esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness, as well as other useful free gifts for you. In this episode of Claim Your Accent Live, we are going to speak about hitting the fact that we are not able to be perfect at everything that we do. This was actually a concern that someone on Cora brought to me in terms of a question that he wanted answered. And it's a very important one because many times people really do get to a point where they hate themselves, as he had stated in his question, for not being perfect at everything that he does. And, you know, my feeling is that there's so many things that I am so imperfect at and absolutely terrible at that if I worried about being perfect at everything, I wouldn't want to be existing in this world as it stands today. And I went into explaining in that response how I have four sisters. Some of them are really good at music. Some of them are good at dance and those things that take coordination. And they all did much better in school than I did. And yet now I'm the only one who has a master's working on my second master's. So things can change in terms of what we apply ourselves to and decide to put our time and energy into. Because as far as I know, there isn't a perfect human being on planet Earth, and it would be very hard to be relatable if you were to be such a person. We all have issues. We all have things that we need to overcome. We come to planet Earth in order to learn the things that we need to learn so that we can grow. Because if you're not growing, you both have a really boring life, and worse, you could have a really destructive life. And that's not really what life is supposed to be about, so far as I know. So take your time to figure out those things that you're interested in, that you're curious about, that you want to learn about. So you're constantly growing and learning and stretching yourself. Because one of the things I do now is that fulfillment only comes when we overcome the challenges that we have in our lives. And it could be something as simple as the other day I was supposed to fill out some stupid form for my disbursement, for my schooling here, and they already had all the information. And frankly, there were a few different options that they could have used based on the bank's information, and I didn't know which one to use for the little box. So I contacted the person who was handling this, and she did let me know that, yes, indeed, they had the stuff on file from last time. It's all still the same, and they'll be able to put it through the way that they did last time. Which is a really good thing to know, because I really do hate filling out forms, because I read things from all different angles, and it confuses me, frankly. And second of all, to know that it's taken care of, so you don't have to make yourself crazy unless you want to. And the thought that I had after I talked to this woman because she couldn't help me fill out the form. She didn't know which numbers I needed either, frankly. I said it'd be okay. And this morning I got the email saying, it's okay. And that's just a little tiny thing in life. Think about the much bigger things that we obsess about, like this paper that I have to write, you know? And that was making me kind of crazy too, because I had like several different areas that I had studied inside of Palestinian women and the things that they have to contend with every single day, both as being Palestinians in this area, as well as the way that they are treated with the paternalistic patriarchy that their community runs by, and what that all means. Well, I was really happy I sent an outline. It was a very rough outline, to tell you the honest truth, to my professor 
who's my advisor on this one, and she actually liked it, and she helped me to bring it down to a much smaller segment because it was really too broad, frankly, so that I can focus what I need to focus on. So I rewrote the outline for her, and she'll get back to me in the next day or so, and then I can get going on it. Still not a really huge stress, but... When you're in school and you know you need to get stuff done, it's nice to know that you're going in the right direction, right? <laughs> to get things done, at least in my world. So understand that we're here to learn, we're here to grow, we're here to develop ourselves, we're here to be curious about the world and the people in the world and to learn from them and to share the stuff that we learn. And if we do that, we'll have them happy enough life without having to be perfect at everything because nobody is. Concentrate on the stuff that you enjoy doing and that you want to be doing. If you do that, you don't have to worry about the best. As always, I thank you for spending your time with me. Till next time. If you have enjoyed Claim Your Excellent Life, we'd really appreciate it if you go over to iTunes and give it a five-star review. If you have found Claim Your Excellent Life to be helpful to you, there may be even life-altering with the information that we have shared here. And to allow us to continue this work, which we really do enjoy doing for you, you can sponsor us at patreon.com. That's spelled P as in Paul, A-T-R-E-O-N as in Nancy, dot com. Again, that's P as in Paul, A-T as in Tom, R E O N S and Nancy dot com, where there's a few different levels of sponsorship that you can choose from to help us to continue doing this work. We thank you for any assistance that you are able to give us. Thank you for listening to the podcast Claim Your Excellent Life with your host, Suzanne Kellner Zink where she helps professional women learn how to be happy. Suzanne teaches you how to do this through building high self-esteem, relaxation and calm, and good, healthy relationships. Tune in every week as Suzanne shares effective strategies to help you claim your excellent life with happiness techniques, self-esteem building exercises, relationship tips, and relaxation information. Make sure to head over to dawningvisions.com to subscribe to the newsletter to receive your keys to happiness as well as other useful free gifts for you.